Young California. You could tell them that I've been from hell and back. Hell and back ain't no trip for me. Please say and don't hold me back. So now we're gonna take a step into this session right here, which is the hell and back beat. There's a lot of tracks in there too, man. You're up to about, wow, 40 something? Yeah, 48. <laughs> it's crazy. See, this is a composer. <laughs> Okay, not, not a producer, beat maker, composer. The first thing I played, I loaded up uh, FM8 and I played this. That's the lead. And then I added the progression, all the horns, which is like a mix between Nexus and, and Philharmonic. That's the lead, that's the progression. And then I added like the bells and whistles and some snares so it sounded like. I added this like, this like psychedelic little like vocal sample. I see you use that in the last one too. Yeah, nice. yeah, that's like one of my favorite vocal samples. Basically, I layered everything. So I layered all the horns with like lower horns, lower strings, orchestra drums, like. After that, I added organ. I spent the most time on the organ. And then, uh... And also, I, I noticed your tracks are blue. Like, if some producers that use Logic are wondering, like, why are all these audio tracks and these are MIDI tracks right here? It's because I'll send my first draft to my engineer and he'll mix them a little bit and polish them and send them back. And mostly because this was, this is the, actually the remix beat which is slightly different, so I had him send me all the files from the original. I like to like get it mixed as I'm making it. And then at the end, I just added all the effects, the reverses, bells and whistles, snares, kicks. I do kicks and bass last. After I added, basically I'll just overload everything, I'll add way too many tracks, way too many instruments, and then I'll trim the fat and decide like where what goes. So like the organ went in the verse, everything comes in on the hook. I think I gave MGK like more syncopated snares. Just saying, tell it back ain't no trip for me, please say and don't hold me back. God said this ain't it for me, but these haters done got me trapped. And it's these haters that got me strapped. They're annoyed by my friends, cuz these favors that got me jacked. Yeah, like his verse is a little different than Inks. I gave him like more like stutter snares and less hats just to like cater to his flow a little bit. I like how you know you picked all the instruments that fit in the, you know, the frequencies where they needed to fit. Instead of, you know, putting on a bunch of bells and things in that realm. Right, you know? right, right. Yeah. Now this one was more like a vibe piece for me than uh, impressive type shit. Like I stuck to the same progression, same lead. It was more just like all the different layers and timbres and like actual sounds like the organs the strings and like how they mix together and that's what gives it that spooky spooky vibe the 808 the 808 i spent like three hours on that's why that low end really Ooh. like shakes you know what i mean it's not wow. like a distorted like bah, bah. it's like a boom you know yeah what I'm and it fits in there with like the the orchestra percussion i heard you like yeah, you know? yeah yeah exactly it, it, you, you know it, it's more of a sinister batman type 808 than it is like a ghetto ear in your face like yeah type shit. and this sounds kind of like a triumphant kind of yeah. you know s you know sound to it yeah that's what i was going for yeah and then ink bodied it so it was a wrap deuces place man you know california ski lodge let's go man i got the money in the pal yeah once you get a little they just want to take you down cuz
Young California.